the process. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys step by step how I set up the Weibo desktop app for day trading. So before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Um, in the past, I did a video showing you guys how I make $250 a day um, day trading with the Weibo app. If you haven't already checked out that video, I'm gonna hook it up here so you can definitely go check it out. So in today's video, it's, it's still another uh, follow up to that video because I've gotten a lot of questions from some of you guys um, asking me how my setup is and why my screen looks different from uh, what comes what I say out of the box or what you get when you just first install the app because I've done some customizations to it so uh, I want to kind of follow up with that and do this video so in, in doing so I'm gonna show you guys how everything is organized the layout the flow um, of my setup of my app so that when I get up in the morning I, I get back to my, I get to my office um, everything is just lined up I just start trading and I don't have to worry about it so let's jump right in so here we go guys um, so once you log into your Weibo desktop app um, I want you to go on the left side I want you to go on the trade so if you click on trade it brings up um, uh, your trading window so this is my current setup so I'm gonna walk you guys through it um, real quick so um, on, on the, the left side here, I have my watch list. So this is my daily watch. This is the stocks that I, I watch and um, I'm probably gonna trade for that day. Um, and so so each time when I click on the stock, it populates the, the chart here and I can actually read it and see what's going on um, just, just like that. So this is the, on the left here, this is the list I'm watching um, and, and then this is what I'm gonna trade. And then the next tab to it is the other entry widget. So this is where you enter your orders to buy or sell. Um, and then now I have the chart so I can usually see what's happening um, on, in, in the market. And then um, on my chart here, you see that I don't have a ton of lines or everything like you see with most traders. Uh, I just try to keep it as clean as possible. So I would normally have the VWAP um, I have the MA actually going and, and sometimes I enable the uh, I enable the EMA um, so you can actually see that so if you see this yellow line right here um, this is the VWAP line and you guys know my strategy I use the VWAP um, to to trade so that that has to be enabled um, then so then underneath here on the lower left corner here this is where I have my level 2 data so this is where I'm actually watching what people are bidding and what people are asking for a particular stock. So then underneath here, um, I put the, the position widget. So um, this is where if, I, if I'm if i in, it will show right here on this bottom. And then when I place an order or uh, let's say a sell order, a limit sell order, it's gonna show here and like working until the, when the order is filled, then it, it, it shows here on the position. So that's, this is how my setup is right now. So. Um, and how do you get to this point? Um, I can just basically show you. So um, if I'm gonna, so I just do a second. I create a second tab here. So if you go to the um, this top right corner right here, where it says uh, uh, new board, and you say create new board. So it would bring up a a, a window that you would choose um, if you just want let's say uh, just one trading window or two trading windows, it would show you. So in this case, I selected two, but we can actually get, get rid of one just so you can actually see it. So basically, once this comes up, um, what do you want to do is, and so again, there is there is stuff that you can add. So at the very end here, you can do, this is the widget. So um, if you look at here, it says watch list, you have account details, you have position, you have orders, right? So these are some of the general things that you can add. So if you go, you can even have more. We have the news, you have options, you have active trade, you have you know all these other stuff that you can actually um, include um, here on your screen. So uh, in my case, so let's say for you, if you want to set up yours, you want to copy this. So I got I get the, the watch list over here. And then, so you can actually decide. So mine is the daily watch, so you put that here. And then the next thing that I, I, I want you to do is my order entry form, which is what goes right here. So I put my order entry form right there. And then so in this case, uh, let me show you something real quick. And this is very important, guys. Um, so let's let's delete 
this one because we don't need that we don't need two other entry forms so I delete that one and let's delete this one because we don't need two of those and then my level two I'm gonna bring that down here and just put it right there and then uh, my chart information that's gonna go here and I can expand it um, just as big as I want it to be um, and then my working or my position I'll put that right here and my working orders I'll put them right there and they can expand this to match and then pull it out and they can bring this down some so there you go so you have a setup like that that's pretty easy um, then again like I said uh, once once you are happy with what you have let me close this real quick um, and then I want you to go to the indicators so you enable your EMA your VWAP so these are the things that I enable so if you scroll out um, in this case, again, the yellow line here is your VWAP, as you can see. Uh, and then your MA, your, so this MA here, this one is five. You can actually change it to whatever you want. There's 200, um, this, I've seen people, most people, some people use 200, some people use 50. So you do your research and see which one works best for you um, that you want to enable um, on here. But definitely make sure that you have um, the MA enable. It's, it's, it's a good indicator. All right, so now that I have a setup like this, um, the other question I get is why is your screen um, black and everything or has a dark theme? So to change that, if you go to settings, the bottom here, um, and then you, you see here it says you go to general and then you go to themes, um, you can actually change between a lighter theme and a darker theme. So I choose dark, it's good for my eyes. The light is a little bit too bright um, for staring at your screen for, for day trading. I don't want to be staring into that bright light, so I choose a darker theme. So, and then you can actually choose colors, like here, green is up, red is down. Make it to your own satisfaction. Um, so that's how I get that. Then the, um, the other thing is I'm gonna do for you guys, which is gonna be a separate video, is to show you guys um, you know, the hot keys. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how I set up my hot keys. I don't wanna do that in this video because it's gonna make it too long, so I'm gonna have to do that in a separate video. But once that's done, um, now you're ready to trade. I come in the morning, uh, what I do is I look at this and I'll be, uh, and I'll just, hey, let's say I look at the stock, I'll pick it up. You can just pick the stock and it's gonna load in here. Okay, notice one thing here, guys, and this is very important. Um, I want you to see this clearly. So if you notice here that uh, when I selected, let's say for instance, if I select Neil, uh, notice that Neil loaded here on this, uh, my order entry form, it loaded here, it loaded down here, but this is still showing, um, a, uh, this is still showing Apple, right? So that, that's the problem for most people because you would have to manually come in here every time and type in and type in Neo for that to load, which I don't want to do that every time. I mean, what's the purpose, right? So what I want you to do is make sure that uh, number one, this, you see where it says the setup group, it says one, this should be one and this should be one. But see here it says two and down here one, one, one. So this guy, is not in sync with all these other ones. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna delete this, and then you go back here, where it says widget, um, and we want stocks, um, and we want a chart. Um, so in this case, it, it, it gives us a chart. I'm gonna expand it um, as big as I want it to. Um, expand it out. And then we can close this. So set as group number. So you click on that. In this case, um, I'm gonna set one. So there you go. Um, now, if I go here and select, let's say I select uh, A, B, U, S. Now notice that everything loads across the board from my um, other entry form to the chart to the, um, to my level two, everything loads, and so it's in sync, which it's awesome, that's what we want. So, there you go. Um, so, and this is, that concludes this video, guys. Um, just kind of like, hey, how my setup looks. And then, like I said, we'll do a separate video on um, hotkeys and how I have all my hotkeys set to 
um, day trade. So as you can see, guys, that's the simpler way that my desktop is actually set up for day trading. It's not very complicated. Um, I try to minimize uh, any sort of crowdiness as much as possible. Keep it simple so I can see exactly what I'm doing and follow my strategy. So um, again, this is my setup. It works for me. Um, try it and see if it works for you. If not, figure out, move things around. If you like the flow from right to left, set your stuff so that it flows from right to left. If you want it from top to bottom, set your set your flow so it flows from top to bottom. So if you want it from bottom to top, do, do it, do whatever works for you, try it. The most important thing is to try it, figure out what is comfortable for you uh, before you jump right in. And again, this is you uh, setting up an environment where you're going to work to make money for yourself. So make sure that you wanna set the most comfortable and most efficient environment um, that would work for you so that is my um, approach um, so question of the day guys what do you guys think about my layout do you think hey, it's too crowded or you think it's something that you want to emulate let me know in the comment section again guys if you're new uh, here we talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth so if that's something that interests you go ahead and hit the subscribe button and your notification bell and YouTube tells me that 90% of you guys watching haven't already subscribed to the channel so hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell definitely tells uh, YouTube that you guys uh, you know enjoy the video and you help my the algorithm so definitely go ahead and do that for me and as always guys stay motivated